Hi, my name is Bob Yamamoto. I'm an engineer at Lawrence Livermore National Lab, and I'd like to talk to you today about the electromechanical battery, what we refer to as the EMB. And in particular, I'd like to talk about flywheel energy storage for vehicular applications. I wanted to start off today's discussion talking about the competitive differentiation between our electromechanical battery, the EMB, and the current technology that's being used, electrochemical batteries. Uh, as of today, EMBs are being used in racing vehicles for power assist, up to 200 horsepower for short burst durations. The picture on the slide shows a Porsche hybrid vehicle utilizing this flywheel storage technology. But with respect to the cost of the EMB battery pack relative to an electrochemical one, while no detailed analysis has been performed, the simplicity of the proposed systems and the absence of special fabrication techniques augurs well for competitive cost. The key opportunity that we believe our electromechanical battery provides is the more of than a doubling of the range of the present electric automobile. Shown on this graph, watt hours per kilogram versus the two types of vehicles uh, type uh, energy storage systems that we have looked at. The green shows our electromechanical battery and the blue shows the current Neath, Nissan LEAF electric car. And as you can see, our energy density is more than twice that of the Nissan LEAF, which corresponds to more than a doubling of the range uh, that either vehicle could go utilizing either technology. Livermore has developed a new generation of modular flywheel storage systems based on the use of some special technologies. And these include passive magnetic bearings and a novel type of electrostatic generator that is very light in weight, near 100% efficient, which implies it does not require active cooling. In, the, in these respects, our system and our flywheel design differs greatly from that used by today's commercial uh, flywheel uh, companies. Computer-based simulations predict that the use of our new Livermore design flywheel modules may allow a doubling of the range of electric automobiles over that of the now uh, currently used electrochemical battery packs. And without the attendant problems of limited cycle life, cell monitoring and cooling, fire hazard, and hazardous waste disposal. The integration of the three key technologies distinguishes Livermore's electromechanical battery from present day flywheel systems. And these three technologies are the electrostatic generator motor. It is very efficient with near zero internal heat generation, utilizing an extremely simple and lightweight structure, eliminating point loading stress induced areas. Passive magnetic bearings, which are permanent magnets used to dynamically stabilize the rotating flywheel system, eliminating the need for complicated sensors and control circuits, and the utilization of carbon composite, which is high strength, low density carbon material, which enables increased kinetic energy storage while achieving significant system weight saving. The current state of the development of the new generation of EMBs at Livermore is it is a work in progress, presently being directed toward bulk energy storage applications and evolving construction of test models of both the passive magnetic stabilizer system and the electrostatic generator motor. As you can see on the photos on the right hand side, this is a kind of, this is time lapse of the fabrication of the flywheel system utilizing S glass all the way through the carbon composite fiber itself. Work on vehicular applications of the new design EMVs has been limited to computer simulations of the mechanical and electrical components of small modular units involving vehicle related special problems 
such as the transit accelerations that occur during operation and the need for long self-discharge times. The graph shown here represents two types of charging circuits that we have looked at, the trump type charging circuit and our parametric resonant charging circuit. The trump circuit utilizes 46.9 charging DC voltage, whereas the parametric charging circuit utilizes roughly half of that, 24.4 uh, charging DC voltage. But as you can see, the AC power output for the parametric resonant charging circuit is 134 kilowatts, over an order of magnitude more than that of the Trump type charging circuit. This is one of examples that we believe we really provide enhanced performance of our uh, electromechanical battery system. The new generation Livermore modular EMBs are ongoing work and involves concepts that have never before been incorporated in flywheel energy systems. We believe that these concepts offer up, offer up new opportunities for applications such as battery packs or full electric or hybrid electric vehicles. The performance indicators that the new EMBs offer that differentiate them from conventional flywheel systems or electrochemical batteries include simplicity of design, no need for cooling systems, decades long lifetime with no degradation associated with the number of cycles or the depth of discharge and the potential to achieve twice the stored energy density, watt hours per kilogram as that typically obtainable from electrochemical battery packs. For more information, please contact Hanero Mempin at the Livermore Lab. Thank you very much, and we look forward to hearing from you.